Okay. Take 159. <sighs> Debbie, just get serious. Why can't you be serious for once? This is my last trolley. <laughs> Let's get serious. Let's go. Hello and welcome to Bella Lash Brow's YouTube channel. My name is Debbie Cotty, proud founder of Bella Lash Brow. We specialize in making eyelash extensions and semi-permanent eyebrows look natural. We also provide accredited training courses to help women start their own beauty business. This is my second video upload and I thought I would go through every single product I have on my trolley. Now, over the years, I have used several different types of trolleys. I've had big ones, I've had small ones. This is actually my smallest one. The aim was always for me to store as much as I can in my trolley. And what I found is that it would just really annoy me. What I do now is separate the trolleys depending on the category of treatment. So this trolley is only for when I do lash extensions. We also do lash lifting and tinting and that has its own trolley for the semi-permanent eyebrows, the microblading. We have a separate trolley for that because I just find it so much easier. When I first started, my aim was to get the biggest trolley possible so it could fit not only the products that I need, but also I would have miscellaneous items on there. I would have things that I, that I wouldn't need. And now I'm very cautious to make sure that I only have items on my trolley that I am very likely to use. And it's easier to keep organized. It's easier to keep clean. This is a trolley from Ikea. It's very cute. It does have wheels. It's not much. There's not much on there. I've seen other videos on YouTube talking about how many items they have on their trolleys. But I find that when you first start lashing, you feel like you need so much on your trolley. And you kind of panic, which is normal. You're new to lash and you want to make sure that you have everything. What I have found is over the years, I have got more confident and so I just want to share with you what I have and what I wish I knew when I first started. Not only would I have saved a lot of money but I think I would have just saved a lot of stress. Sometimes having so much and not knowing where every, anything is can also be a detriment to your progress. There are four tiers on this trolley and I'm gonna go through each one and talk about where they're from. I'm also gonna have a list of absolutely everything I speak about and where it's from in case you guys like it and need it too. So let's go ahead and talk about everything that is on my trolley. I'll start off, I guess, at the top. As you can see, this is a, an acrylic case. The most important thing you want to remember is to ensure that everything's covered um, just to make sure that there's no dust or anything kind of going into your equipment. I really like clear acrylic, especially when you're working with uh, such a small space. You want to make sure that you can see everything. At the top here, I've got my collagen pads. I've got that there. Here I have micropore tape. Uh, I'm a fan of micropore tape when I am using the collagen pads for clients. I do, of course, detack uh, a little bit because it is quite strong, but I've always been a fan of micropore tape. I've tried other tapes, but I really like using this. It looks quite weird to have on the lash trolley, but this is to replace the need for lash primer. I can make a video on that to explain more. Then back here, I've got my standard jade stone. And all I do is have foil on the top. I then have some cut out pieces. So then when I finish with this one, I can just like grab a new one. The In the first drawer, I have lip one. I also use them for microblading as well, but this is great for cleaning lashes. The good thing as well is that these come out so you can kind of organize them better and you could give them a nice good clean. Um, so on this side, I have some mascara ones. 
and then i have micro swabs they do come in different sizes at the top but this is the kind of size i like which really gets into the lashes that's the two drawers here we have vactite this is great to hold your glues um i also have my remover in there so this is great because it doesn't let any air in this was from amazon when you buy glue it comes with silica sachets and i just leave that in there to make sure my glue is always fresh here is just literally this was i think ebay and it's just a squeezy bottle with distilled water and this is great um for when you do lash baths so that brings me on to my next tool this is um a lash foam cleanser this is my own branded one so this i use for clients and i also sell it as part of their lash aftercare i always like to kind of keep one here so when we finish and i'm kind of explaining if we're not by the reception desk and we're still kind of by the trolley i like to just have it so they can see how it looks uh and that comes with its very own brush so that's how it looks it's really nice and soft at the top and it really gets um all the dirt out so of course you can use this with lash extensions as well as you know you need to clean your lashes i like to do a lash bath with this and i use this uh distilled water to wash the cleanser off now if clients come to me with makeup on mascara this is micellar water this is actually great so even though i use the cleanser to lash bath uh, my clients lashes micellar water is great uh, for them to remove their own makeup so next to that i have uh hand sanitizer this is actually meant to be for like foam pumping it's a foam pump but i think it just the size of it works really well so actually get it in like a big uh in like a big quantity so this is actually the bigger size that it comes in when this goes down i can refill it with the mundo i love mundo for cleaning products i think having your business card nearby is always good of course i keep them at reception so this is just a brush um i like this this doesn't have to be covered because this doesn't really go on clients skin this is just to get rid of kind of like stray lashes everywhere uh, what else do we have in here this is saline solution this is sterile eye wash and i like to keep a few in because of course you never know if something kind of goes into your client's eyes you just want to make sure you can quickly have access another reason i like to hold these is in case a client um hasn't got any saline solution for her contact lens or his contact lenses this is a mirror this is great of course to see your lashes um, so you can see what you're doing I like it because it's not too small and it's not too big i think this is just the perfect size of course we have our fan i've had quite a few different fans there's three settings you know get rid of all the fumes from the glue i like to hold a pen as long as it's thin like this we do need a pen for when we're doing our lash mapping um onto our collagen pads it's blue um i don't like using red or green or anything like that because the collagen pads are white so that is the first tier um let's see what's in the second tier so i'll start off with this which is of course a thermometer to show us the temperature and the relative humidity in the room if you are unsure as to why uh, this is important then please leave a comment below and i will try to uh, either make a video on it or at least reply to your comment to explain further this is needed for our glue uh, our glues performance is dependent on the temperature and the humidity now a lot of students do come to my course that have trained elsewhere and are surprised to hear this so please do leave a comment below if you weren't aware of this so i can explain a bit further but this is really really crucial because a lot of technicians really struggle with retention or kind of placing the lashes on and they're not sticking and they're kind of spending so much money on different glue when sometimes it 
can very well just be the, the temperature and the humidity you're working in. So next to this, we have protein remover pads. So although, as I explained, I do like a lash bath, this is great for when you are strapped for time. So if I can see that I don't have much time, I do just grab some remover pads, especially if they're not wearing, if I can see they're not wearing much makeup. But this is a much more, this gives you a much more thorough clean uh, because you can kind of get in there with a the foam, do it two, three times if you need to with the brush. It's much more thorough. This is actually more cost effective as well, doing a lash bath. Uh, because protein remover pads can be expensive here I just have there's a lot usually a lot more in here. These are just straws. These are just paper straws from Amazon They're blue and pink because they go with the flower in our salon The reason why I now keep I never used to keep the straws separate. So the straws are basically covers for Mascara one what I would do before is keep the mascara ones in the straws like this and we would keep them in the reception at the reception desk so recently one of the girls that works at the salon realized that if we keep it in there it can actually ruin the shape so i use the mascara one and then once i've finished instead of getting rid of it i of course put it in the straw and hand it to the client to brush their lashes daily so i keep that in there oh i also have a penny in here sterilized clean of course and this is good i don't use it much that's why i kind of have it in here for clients whose eyes flutter um, and you simply can't kind of put the lashes on then this is a great way to kind of tape this onto their eyelids using your micro forte here i have my lash tweezers so i've got a few volume ones i use an x type tweezer for classic lashing this is my isolating tweezer this is great for the glue when it gets clogged up then i like to have a tweezer i always like to have a tweezer around to kind of make sure i've got something to dig the top of the glue bottle i've had it for years well loved as you can see that's the second tier third tier what do i have so i'll start with this so of course i've got masks which i think we're gonna always need so i've got a charger for the fan i like to keep it on the trolley oh i've got a screwdriver but i will explain why i have a little screwdriver in a second and then i like to kind of keep a pen and notepad I like to keep that around because sometimes clients kind of give me really good advice or uh, advise on a book that I should read or some things. Um, I'm also somebody that has to write something down when I think of something. And obviously lashing is uh, you can be there for like hours and hours. And um, if I think of something, I need to make sure I write it down. That is that. Um, this is, of course, the cleanser. Like I said, I just like to kind of have one there. This is actually something i bought recently because i used to use something similar but not as big uh, so this is great for lash organization i use like labels um just sticky labels and put that on there it just means you can just like pick it up good to go lashes for volume lashes for classics i've got some 0.10s 1.7s 0.15s so it's really really nice really convenient um you could just grab and you can hold so many there's obviously 10 pads in there that's that so i'll start with this this is again from mondo and this is to clean your tweezers so i like this because i don't use this in between each kind because you can just use alcohol wipes i just like to use that to sanitize the tweezers each time but at the end of your day you would pop your tweezers in here and under here you would use uh, instrument cleaner you would close this and 
give it a really 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 good shake depending on the quality of your tweezers guys you can of course leave your tweezers to soak in there overnight this one is what i've been using for years okay so lastly so this is where i keep uh backstock of course we've got our stock cupboard with um hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lashes this box is of course great because it holds a lot but depending on how busy you are you might want to have more our volume lashes we get them from london lash pro their silk range however for classic lashes i do have my own branded um premium mink eyelash extensions and these come in 0.15 c and 0.15 d only in mixed lengths for my ones however for the london lash pro as you can see we do get through a lot of lashes so we tend to get single lengths if you are new to lashing and you haven't got many clients what i would advise is start getting organized even before you're back to back and busy i was quite lucky and i got really solid booked within my first six months of lashing so I had to find ways to organize really, really quickly and you can just grab and refill, you know? So I have that at the bottom here. So guys, I really just wanted to show you this. So remember the screwdriver that I showed you? You just unscrew this. So you don't have to kind of unscrew both. You would unscrew one, slip this in, um, and it's just so, so convenient. I use it for every tear, but I also use it for the eyelash pillow before clients lay down. So I think this is just fantastic. On this side, what I like to do here is I do just have some Dettol spray, and this is an all-in-one disinfectant spray. So when a client leaves, you can just spray the bed. And then I've got, again, Dettol surface cleaner. It's just really nice and quick to clean your trolley. Another thing I forgot to mention is the importance of having water by your trolley. Of course, we are lashing sometimes hours and hours and hours of end, and it's very, very easy to forget to drink water i remember i was doing that in the beginning i was lashing monday to sunday about 70 hours a week when i first started i just i would just forget to have water so i always do have a bottle with a straw so i can just quickly um drink some water we've got to stay hydrated girls and guys because i know there are some male lash sticks out there that's about it i think i've covered everything if you have any questions, please, please, please do ask me down below. If you like this video, if this was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up because it does help with the algorithm. If people are finding it helpful, then I will make more videos. Let me know what you want to see. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get a notification every time I upload. If you do want to train with me, details will be below. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.